Stars finished rank 3 last season and today I'm going to show you how you did it with Zap Lalo where half of the time he swagged his Lalo. By Stars' lofty standards, last season was a disappointing one, only finishing 3, 5, and 9. But that doesn't mean we can't enjoy his attacks, because he has gone to the next level with some of his attacks. Now swagging his Lalo on some of the hits you'll see later in today's video. So we're starting off with a uh, pretty normal double rage ring base here. And then I'm going to show you a couple of the double invis ring bases and how he's taken them down. And some really unique ways he's taken them down. Uh, you unique ways of activating those pesky invis towers. So we're coming in with the Sui. Now whilst this is going, I will show you the hero equipment. Obviously it is max. This is this is stars. But right there you see the healing tone with the Lalo and then everything else is kind of as expected. So the Sui comes in after that insane zap value. Obviously rage tower, scatter, multi archer tower and a sweeper. Pretty good value. Pretty good value. Can't really ask for much more. Now we've done a really nice Sui into this compartment. Notice that he's Sui'd on the side that doesn't have the CC. Now it does mean the CC is going to be alive on the back end of the attack, but it does allow him to get way more value with this hero push. So he pops the Queen ability and should get through the Ricochet Cannon here. So we're coming in with the Lalo. Now the biggest thing about Laloing with the heal tome is your loons are going to lose health so much more quickly and they're going to die more quickly. So you do have to keep that in mind. But after the Warden ability, these loons are almost unkillable. Have a look at this. All these red bombs, I lie. They're very killable. <laughs> Never mind. If there's three red bombs, they are killable. But I think this shows you the difference, right? So the life gem there, those loons wouldn't have died. They would have had the extra health, but they would have never healed back uh, from the death to those red bombs. Whereas the other loons here, yes, a lot of them did die. <laughs> I called that horrifically. A lot of them did die, but the ones that live are going to live for such a long time. You have that constant healing. And as long as there isn't a town hall bomb, these loons do amazing. Despite <laughs> despite that little hiccup there for stars with the red bombs, still going to completely crush this base. It didn't go to plan. He crushed it. So wait for the other attacks in this video where it does go to plan. And my word, he slaughters the bases. Welcome to Legends League, where you just see these double invis bases everywhere. So stars gets the zap down and... Uh, I thought he messed up the quake, but he saved the seventh one to hit the scatter there. And he gets insane value from that. And we can all kind of see what he's going to do here. He's going to Sui into this eagle comp, get rid of all the heroes, and then Lalo what's left. So, don't get me wrong, this base is perfect for the army. But I've left this attack in the video because I want you to see how he activates the invis tower. It's with a mechanic I haven't seen used before. But it's a really good way of doing it consistently. So, just wait for that in this second half of the the attack. Got the Sui coming in here. We pull a Skelly Trap early. Might try to deal with that now. Then uh, in the madness that's about to happen. So we're going to use just the King and Queen and clear all of this. I mean, if you don't think the Gauntlet is broken, maybe this will help uh, change your mind. Because there's no way only two heroes should be able to get through all of this. But he ends up doing it extremely easily. So the Headhunters are all down. We use the Giant to tank for them as well. There is the second layer wall break. The Nado goes off. We're dealing with the Nado too. There goes the Gauntlet. And this guy's going to be taking no damage for the next 35 seconds. Whatever it may be. To be fair, this probably isn't the best showcase of the Gauntlet being broken. But look at it. Just taking zero damage. We pop the Queen ability now. The Gauntlet is still going. It... Uh, it does finally end 38 seconds later, but yeah, the damage has been done just tanks so easily and we're not even going to need the Phoenix. But let's have a look at the second part of this attack here. This is what I love the most. So watch the path he puts the blimp on. So the blimp's going here. Now, as we all know, as you're going to see in a second, by the way, he messes up the Warden ability. He doesn't get the blimp in it. But have a look at this, right? This expo has been damaged here. But it's not by the balloons. They're not over it yet. As we all know, the blimp kind of slowly drops bombs on its way to the town hall. And what Stars has done here is he's able to activate this invis tower way earlier using the blimp. Right? So have a look. The blimp activates that invis tower before the loons even get there. Now, the loons do get pathed away because the invis tower has obviously gone off. But now, 
Because the Invis Tower gets activated way earlier, his Royal Champion's in a fantastic position to switch back to the defenses that got invis so you see, she's come in here. She's going to completely wreck it. The Warden ability. The Healing Tome with the Hogs is just a bro so broken. It's ridiculous. Look, these Hogs are not going to die because the Healing Tome is just cracked with them. And you might think, Hook, this attack's dying out, though. It's not, it's not a complete overkill. But you haven't looked at his army comp, have you? You haven't looked at the troops he's still hanging on to. Yikes. And this isn't even the only attack he's going to do this with. We're going to have multiple attacks in this video. Stars, unlike Klaus that we saw yesterday, is not going for style. He is go uh, is not going for, sorry for time. He is going for style. I completely ruined that. Oh, that would have been cool to get right. But yeah, look at this. 18 seconds left. This does end up getting close on time. I believe he tripled this with 7 seconds to go. But Stars doesn't care. This guy used mass witches in a golden ticket tournament. Do you really think he's not going to use some style points at the end of this video. I mean, look at that. Man is awesome. Another unusual double invis base. I can't say I saw this one this season, but I love what Stars does here. He just goes after the anti flame flinger defenses with the zaps there. So obviously Quake damages all of them, but look what's left. So we, we can just use the Flame Flinger here, and the Flame Flinger will get rid of the multi. We'll get rid of the multi Archer Tower and this air defense. Perfectly placed, by the way. I would not be that risky with it. But this is Stars. There's a reason he's one of the best players in the world. And whilst that's all going, this Flame Flinger can do its thing. Now, I kind of like what he does with the Sui here. So we'll have a look. I don't know how long this Flame Flinger is going to go for. So we will two times through this. Don't worry. We're not just going to watch a Flame Flinger. Or maybe we are. Here, I saw the hero start on the top side. So the Queen's here. You see this Town Hall is really isolated. There isn't a lot of damage around it. Obviously, there is the four, oh, well, now three Expos in the area. But still, not that much damage in the area. Don't know why he's using the king to beat the wall. Oh, I, I see. So we've only got two wall breakers. You've got to keep that in mind. So we need one for the queen. Look at all those red bombs, lol. This Lalo's going to have a field day, isn't it? So we use the king to beat through the first layer, and then we'll wall break the second layer. And look, the king's going to do great work here. Yeah, he's not going to get insane value because the invis tower kind of stops a lot of it from happening. But still is able to get the multi down before then. And we have now activated the uh, invis tower, which means, well, the king comes back, which is nice. But we should be able to Lalo straight through that area now. We pop the queen ability. We find the last red bomb on the base. Yes, I believe that's every red bomb on the base found before we've even started our Lalo. We are Laloing with the royal champion. Now, generally, you... You won't see a lot of people Lalo with the Royal Champion, at least in the past. Particularly Stars was one of the first people to do it. But with the Healing Tome, you're going to see him do it more and more. Because the Healing Tome is so good, A, for the Fox. Healing the Fox back up. But as we saw in the last attack, can use it to heal up the Hogs as well. Now, the Triple Ice Golem slows down our troops. So the Warden is not following any of them. Doesn't matter. I mean, doesn't need it at all. I think he could have swagged the Lalo on this one too, but decided not to. Uh, may have been a time thing. But you can see what he does there. Really nice activating the Invis Tower. Then Lalo's straight through it. Queen for the Town Hall. Recognizing the weaknesses in these bases. Whether it be the Flame Flinger, Queen for the Town Hall. You name it. Stars will pick your base apart. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm allergic to epic attacks apparently. So you see the Zap Quake there. I mean... This base never really had a chance to do that. Look at that zap value. But this is what this is what people have to do to defend at the moment. People are not defending zap attacks. They want to defend the Root Rider spam. And this honestly looks like a pretty good base against Root Rider spam. So, I mean, firstly, respect to this guy. And secondly, this is just a state of the meta, which is what makes Zap Lalo a reasonably good army to use at the moment, because people are defending other armies. By the way, look at that gauntlet take out the entire compartment, my word. My gauntlet's only level 20. I really need to upgrade it. Level 20 is not good enough. I need this level 27 gauntlet, because it looks completely and utterly busted. Gonna suey through a second compartment now, even though our heroes still have most of their health. Uh, yeah, just gotta love that. Queen should wrap around the corner here. We've still got her healer puppet. I'm surprised he didn't pop it earlier just to try and get the healers on the king. Uh, just, you know, fully commit to this hero charge. 
Lalo coming in from the bottom, and you see right here how fragile these loons are. Like, they do not have many hit points at all. You have to keep this in mind when you're using the heal tome. So, make sure you don't lose too many of them, but that was pretty perfectly done, because look, now all these loons are going to heal up back to full. We do activate the invis tower. Thankfully, these, uh, the RC goes and gets this town all down just in time before all our loons get on it. And now we turn back on the scatter. The healing tome's still going to be in effect for ages. So all these loons, after getting hit by the scatter, get healed straight back up. That's completely fine. RC's still here. She's kicking ass, um, as always, obviously. And yeah, this base is completely wrecked. We pop the RC ability here. The hog spawn. We still have... A Loon Parade. Look at this. Loon Parade. We've got a freeze spell in it. I mean, how do you stop this man? I'm telling you. Town Hall 16 will never stop stars. This guy is too OP. He finished rank 3. Congrats on him. If you want to see replays of his teammate, Klaus, who finished rank 1, that was the video we did yesterday. I'll link that on the left. And if you want to know what base stars was running in Legends League, stay subscribed to the channel. That video will come out in, I believe, three days from now. And also, we're going to have Ghost, who finished rank 6, share his replays two days from now. Lots of good content to make sure you're subscribed to the channel for.